What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Zinny Tribe, and I'm back with another video, man. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. I will appreciate it. Today, we got how Megan Thee Stallion ruined her career. So, without further ado, let's get straight to this video, man. Gee! <clears throat> In the Stallion was supposed to be a generational talent, and at one point, it seemed like Nicki passed the torch to her when they collaborated. But after the hot girl summer of 2020, a stormy cloud has loomed over her career, leaving people to question if she'll ever reach the potential we once saw in her. And better yet, the fact that she might have run her reputation into the ground, too deep to ever fully recover from. Today I want to explore why it seems like Megan's career is on a decline. What went wrong? And can she ever make a full comeback? While Megan was riding high with two number one hits in a year with Savage and WAP dominating TikTok and radio alike, a personal drama surfaced that would alter the trajectory of her career. In August of 2020, Megan accused Tory Lanez of shooting her in the foot after a pool party. This revelation shocked fans as the two had seemed close, with Megan even appearing on Tory's popular quarantine radio show. Official shot o'clock. Live right here on quarantine radio. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. This has just turned into quarantine radio in about five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> However, one chaotic night filled with Henny and drama completely flipped the script and a messy fallout would soon follow. The shooting allegations left Tory Lanez disowned by the industry, and he experienced one of the most severe blackballing instances of this generation. And while he was being severely outcast, Megan now had more supporters behind her than ever, and her career, art, and image were at an all-time high. It started with her claims that she and Tory were not more than just friends. That you two were dating? What was the nature we were not dating. We what were really nature? close. We were friends. We hung out like every day. And his mom passed too. So when I felt like we were bonding over okay. that. And did you have an intimate relationship with him? Like sexual? Megan, <laughs> did you have a sexual relationship with Tori Lanez? Yes, that's my question. Um, I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tori. So why do you think he's putting out the story that the two of you had a relationship and that you're making the whole thing up? I think that he is trying to deflect from the fact that he committed a crime. In almost no time, people were pointing out the sus nature of her answer and blasting her with comments such as, the answer was sus. How you gotta think about that? This girl lie way too much. A situation that left Meg wishing that- The crazy thing is it's easy to tell when a girl is lying, bro. It's actually easy to tell when anybody's lying because they can't, like no one can fully lie with you with a straight face, bro. Unless you like that good at lying, bro. It's easy to slip up, bro. And a lot of these people be slipping up, which is tough. She slipped. Yeah, had just been shot because of the mental turmoil, it would take two years to get into the courtroom. Even then, she felt like the public enemy despite being shot at. In an interview, she shared how it seemed like the publicity her situation was getting only made her more and more hated and ended up benefiting Tori at the same time. She also called the industry a big boys club and felt that because she was a woman coming forward about a rapper, other artists started to hate her. Despite the serious struggles she was undergoing, most of the hip hop audience couldn't help but focus on the lies she had been telling. Most notably, she admitted that she actually did sleep with Tori under oath. While the mainstream media might have defended her, others had a hard time trusting anything she was saying beyond that initial fabrication, particularly once her former best friend was even coming at her and shared that Meg had snaked her when she tried to pursue Tori Lanez. I've expressed all my concerns to you directly, and you know what I have, what my issue is. I wasn't your enemy. You made me your enemy. We wasn't, we, you know, we stopped fucking with each other, but I wasn't your enemy. You made me your enemy. I have every right to get on here and address this. This issue, on top of major hip hop media outlets like DJ Academics and Adam22 with No Jumper fighting in Tori's corner, it seemed like nobody was on board with Megan anymore. And people weren't afraid to take her accusations online, with some people speculating about how often she has been lying and others calling her out for playing the victim. When the trial came to a close, Tori was ultimately found guilty and put behind bars for an entire decade. And while you think this could clean Megan's slate, people continue to conspire against That's her. That's crazy. They put that nigga in jail for a decade just for shooting a girl. That is literally not, doesn't look like she got shot. There's no evidence that the nigga shot her. They just sent the black man away for a decade, bro. Y'all peeping what's going on, bro. It's the system, bro. The system is against us, man. The system is against us, bro. Damn.
The lies that did surface during the whole ordeal opened the Pandora's box that couldn't stop people from questioning every part of the situation, even the verdict. We do believe and that Meg the Stallion was injured that night. Correct. No question. The only thing that I'm questioning, did Tory Lanez take a gun out and attempt to shoot this woman, or did something happen where a weapon was fired and Meg was injured? You're not getting any consistency from any of them. Facts. Even Meg. Facts. She has been caught lying, and so now that kills your credibility. Meanwhile, others have been happy just to continue to mock her at every turn, with their audience loving every minute of it. Tori knew you was a Tori was f By the way, Tori felt you was easy pussy. Let, I'm, I'm not speaking for Tori, I'm speaking on everything I've heard about that situation. You was easy pussy. Flying to him, he never had to do nothing. Megan has continued to explore all the angles of the situation in interviews, tracks, and beyond, laying out the mental turmoil and physical hardship she's had to overcome in the process. But it doesn't seem like many people are tuning in for her side of the story, and the lingering lies only soured her reputation more and more over time. In the summer of 2022, Megan and her team believed that they had a huge hit on their hands with a tell-all album traumatized on its way to reveal all of the secrets and drama from the altercation and beyond. But it only peaked at fourth on the Billboard charts despite being one of the most watched situations in recent hip-hop history and the album wouldn't be certified gold for over a month. What's even more harder to swallow for Megan is the fact that Nicki Minaj's 2009 album, Be Me Up Scotty, was released the year prior and still outsold her new, raw project by 20k units. This contrast raised questions about Megan's current standing in the music industry. You're not a superstar if you can't sell out. Yeah. Okay. What the f are we talking about right now? Because what stops her from being a superstar if we taking out sales? She ain't sold. Got every brand deal in the world, but has also has all the backing from mad different people. She got a lot going on. That's the game today. If everyone knows that Megan can spit and she's practically a household name, why is she still in a position where you could argue that she's slipping from the top of the game? Well, of course, there's the mistrust that she has built as a liar, whether or not she deserves that title, that is still lingering from the Tory Lane shooting case. There's likely some misogyny at play here as well, which isn't a valid reason to discredit her, but it doesn't change the fact that her public lying spree made other sections of her life more suspect. For example, during the Meg and Nikki beef, a rumor circulated that some Nikki fans planned to dig up Meg's mom's grave. That's a horrifying idea, and nobody would ever condone it. But because it was related to Megan in the first place, Joe Budden decided to speculate and claimed this whole thing was planned by Meg. And it was clear that many people were actually taking his side, whether they thought this was realistic or they just felt a similar distaste for Megan. This is another reason that I'm not mad at the lying on your dead mama line. I believe that that is... Uh, uh, putting the dead into this is weird, bro. But I can't respect that. Anyway, man, if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. I would appreciate it. And I'm see you guys on the next video, man. Peace.